So the structure of this course is based on feedback from the previous year. And we introduced a number of uh, innovations. One is that we replaced some of the face-to-face -face lectures with e-lectures online that students could study when, where and how they wanted. This is an example of an e-lecture. Uh, like a video or a lecture cast, uh, it records the audio, so it's a narrated presentation. But the similarities with lecture cast pretty much end there. So um, you can see uh, there's a main display area. This is the, the slides. Um, and then each slide has an entry down here on the left in this menu. So you can go to any slide uh, directly or you can click the next button and it just takes you to the next slide in the in the sequence. If I click next to you, you here, main learning objectives uh, me reading lecture. out some of you the learning objectives, you can pause and uh, drag the head and rewind and play. Describe the role. You can select the topics in any order. Um, so I'm going to pick one on statistics. Testing. Uh, you should be able to hear that playing. And there are some interactive quizzes embedded in the e-lectures. And give you an example of that. So here, which one of the following evaluation methods involves users? Let's try a cognitive walkthrough. That's wrong, so it snaps back. Uh, experiment. Yes, that's the right answer. You get a nice little ding and uh, a menu for you to acknowledge. And um, that's the, the main features. Uh, it contains text, contains pictures, and you can embed videos um, from YouTube or elsewhere. I was just going to say, I personally think e lectures are so much better than traditional lectures for me. But I agree. I mean, the fact that you can do it anytime you want, and it takes like 30 to 40 minutes, whereas a normal lecture would take two hours. Um, you end up learning the same thing in your, at their own pace, so I like it as well. And I think the way he does it in snippets, so each topic will then be covered by a particular slide, so it's not a whole constant flow of information, so you can just stop it at the right point. So if you've got a particular issue or you forgot a particular topic, discuss the new lecture, you can go straight back to that. And also, like the new lectures were just like really easy to study from. Like they were well thought out. I think laid out really well. Now I've had some modules where it's like almost impossible to study from lecture slides, right? Because they're so obtuse and like. You, know, you kind of have to follow the, what the lecture is saying, right? Uh, but, but with this, it, it, it just felt like it was really easy to make notes from and study from and then you know, execute them in the quizzes. So if you were right. to pick the things that you like the most about the module, what would it be? Um, that, would, that would be the, actually, that, that would be the e-lectures, I guess. Um, I, I enjoy having very precise lectures that record it so you can re-listen to them um at any time uh, a bit more maybe perhaps interactivity there would be cool but yes very much enjoy the e-lecture like the structure of the e-lecture uh, right because if if dr evans holds a, a lecture every week realistically no one's going to listen to him and people get really bored uh, the e-lecture <laughs> force you to uh well to take the initiative to listen it at home. And I think it's a really good idea. Uh, I really like the e-lecture, yeah. It's very specific and easy to use. E-lectures are really useful because I tend to like want to go back and rewatch them. And um, I like to uh, you know, play stuff over and over again when I don't understand it. So I could just spend as much time as I need on the stuff I find more difficult. And the stuff I already know, I can kind of just review. So I think the e-lectures are really useful. So um, I know that is very hands-on now with the seminars and the e-lectures, and I like how it alternates between the seminars and lectures every week. Okay. Uh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like two-hour lectures and like a seminar, like a standard one. So I like how it's been split up because I think one-hour lectures is more effective because you can get a lot of information um, concisely and it's quality instead of people like, you know. I, I just think of e-lectures that are very, very useful for me because I sometimes find it tough to like follow lectures. So it's I can stop the lectures, I can wait for it to, I can rewind them again, which seems very useful. I think it's the best module we had this year. 